Hello my loves, it's Tuesday night and the first night of a brand new meals vlog. I know that because we've just uploaded one and I'll link it up there. Because this is a random start to a week for us. It is. First of all, it's that time, 25 to 10 of the PM. It's very late. Uh, Jason's been out teaching tonight, but we're usually eating by 8. However, Gemini and my asthma have done a podcast. Upcoming, I'll let you know when it's available. So... This was a quick throw together. Air fryer, umph, spicy drumsticks, and bird's eye green cuisine, chicken style burger. Got thick slices of tomato on there, mixed salad, mayo, English mustard, a bit of Cathedral City cheese, rocket ketchup. Ow, all the good stuff. <laughs> Mm. and uh, leftover couscous from our mukbang on Saturday uh, but I've mixed the ends of the tomato dropped into little pieces Lovely. into it just you know and a load of rocket on top and a bit of Cholula for dipping our spicy drumsticks in so it's a random start to the week and it is a random start to the week. I was going to say, the other thing to, that's kind of worthy of mention, I think, is we're eating quite late, but we go to bed quite late. We do. It's not like we're eating at this time and we're going to be going to bed in an hour. You know, it ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> random dinner on Tuesday night. <laughs> Still, I'm right looking forward to it. Fasting again today. Monday to Thursday, don't forget. We is hard, Barbara. I'm right ready for this. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Wednesday night, and this is classically what I would call a college dinner. <laughs> um, we're, we're trying these Plant Chef Katsu style veggie crisp bakes, which Jason will lovingly cut open for you so you can have a look. Oven chips, a tin of beans, and if you watched our allotment vlog, you saw all the little tomatoes we picked. Well, I've put a load of them in there because I thought we like to eat them raw. Oh, well, I mean, these are bonus tomatoes, aren't they? Absolutely. So this is a vegetable bake with edamame beans, brown rice in a seasoned crumb. Mm. And it looks like that. Actually, that looks quite nice. Yeah. Reasonably healthy. Do you want a little tasty? Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, absolutely. Why not? So katsu is the kind of sweet, very mild curry. Japanese, Japanese. It is Japanese, isn't it, katsu? Mm-hmm. It's actually very nice. It's from Tesco. Mm. It was quite cheap as well. It's just I'd never seen it before, so I thought, oh, we'll try them. And I love anything filled with veg that gives you the impression it's junk food, but it's actually filled with veg. Yeah. It's, it's good. It's tasty. It's tasty in it. Nice bit of texture. And the crispy crumb, as I often say, I'm a fan of a crispy crumb. Uh, and that's a lovely crispy crumb. Nice. Well, yeah, really, really nice, yeah. I've got a couple of slices of bread and butter. How many times do I have to tell you we're northern? <laughs> <laughs> like Tuesday and Wednesday nights sometimes are a bit random, aren't they? They are, uh, due to Jason teaching. But it's home now. We're about to watch another episode of Discovery. And we're going to eat our katsu-style veggie crisp bake, oven chips, beans and martyrs. And I'm about to eat that. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Wednesday night. See you tomorrow, loves. Bye. Hello, my darlings. It's uh, Thursday night. You, you... It's a partial whoop. Yeah. Yay! I'm only working for a couple of hours tomorrow afternoon. You've got a couple of hours tomorrow. I've got a couple of hours Saturday. Yes. Yeah. Right. Um, trigger warning. I'm going to talk about dating for a second. I'll put my, this is a requested trigger warning. I'm going to put my hand in front of the camera when I'm done so you can fast forward. In fact, I'll go to Jason when I finish talking about it. I've done OMAD again this week. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, today as well, Thursday. Um, it, uh, once again, this is the third time I've done OMAD now. It's working really, really well for me. And uh, this will be my first meal of the day. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> uh, so, I just wanted a massive plate of veg, which is, we do this occasionally, don't we, Bromers? We do. I think semi-regularly. I think, to be fair, we, as we've said before, we're transitioning. Yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely, the last few days, as we've definitely felt it's got, it's getting wintery. It is. In our neck of the woods. This is 
very nicely segue into winter grub. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got a huge pile of mashed potato there with rocket chopped into it. The last of a bag of rocket had. We've got julienne and steamed carrots. We've got you can't see it, but underneath, underneath there, honestly, the shredded white cabbage. Uh, then we've got very thinly sliced cauliflower and peas and a gravy made with a yellow pepper, a white onion and a little red onion from Plot 25 mm. um, and two chilies in the gravy. Delightful. Uh, because, you know, me and Jason are like a bit of spice. Of course I've got bread and butter. We're northerners. What do I keep telling you? <laughs> mm. uh, but yeah, really looking forward to this. And, you know, it just kind of goes to prove that I think when you have a meal like this and it's reminiscent of a, a Sunday lunch that you might have had when you were a meat eater, but you still get all the same joy from it. Well, more so because there's no dead animal. Well, that's, it, that's yeah. In it. And it'd be even better if it had vegan Yorkshire puds and roast, roast hairs. Um, no need for any kind of, you know, alternative or anything with a meal like this. It's just a fantastic nutrient boost. Peas are essential for your protein, darling. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Mash and veg. It's Thursday night's dinner. Hope you're well, my loves. And we'll see you soon. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Friday night and we're um, we're live in a, in a little while. It's about 7.30 now. We're live at 9 for our uh, Friday night live in the lounge. And tonight I've made an African peanut... Stew. There's a reason I say it slowly like that because Google, for anyone who puts CC on, when I say it fast, Google's filthy. Google struggles to translate sometimes. <laughs> it really does, doesn't it? In terms of taking your words and putting the English words on the screen. <laughs> yes. And Jay got this uh, bake at home um, baguette. It's like a sourdough. Um Baguette, isn't it? Yeah, clearly Mark's vegan Clean. from... Uh, Tesco. From Tesco. I think it was a little bit more than I would have liked to have spent. I think it was £1.60. Right, but it's one of them... You, so I cut it in half and did it in the air fryer. Uh, we just fancied it. The recipe for African peanut stew is on the channel, so I'll link it up there now. But, I mean, it's... The, the bulk of it is made up with sweet potatoes, black beans, and I've put some... Um, uh, Tesco chicken style pieces in there as well and spinach and peanut butter and there's a full scotch bonnet in there it truly is a beautiful stew very hearty great for winter and there's this much left in the pan <clears throat> so there's a whole other night's dinner there Fabulous. Uh, so there you go hugging a bowl yeah indeed with that crusty bread oh it's got to be marvellous ladies and gentlemen African Peanut stew recipe above. <laughs> Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Saturday night and we're eating a quarter to ten. Jason's going to tell you why. I'll try and keep it brief. Yeah, do. <laughs> as much as I can because this is about the food. But we've had a mare. We've had an absolute mare um, with Rona the Rio, sadly. Um, so, did a bit of work today. Finished work, went to Tesco's, picked up a couple of bits, came out of Tesco's. No. Key won't turn in the ignition. Cylinders knackered. Anyway, four and a half, five hours later, RAC come. And he came home. I, I said, come home. Yes, I got a taxi home. Because <laughs> um, I got an estimate from RSE, which they are very good at, to be fair. All yeah, those estimates are. do change. So watch out for that, anybody in the UK yeah. who's an RSE member. Uh, but uh, Martin... From the RSC, absolute legend. Uh, managed to get it started, managed to sort it, took it all apart. Went ballistic, really. Went nuts. Like, literally just took everything apart. Um, got it working again. And here we are. And here we are. That's it. That's the tale. So, tonight we're trying this, which is the new Meatless Farm chicken and bacon style tortellini. Uh, so you get eight pieces it's about three pound fifty i think so we'll tell you what it's like in a minute when we cut it open we're having garlic bread and a lovely mixed salad which of course oh yes yes you know i've, uh, we've not got, I've not got our light tonight have I? but thankfully doesn't your, matter your light is just fine everybody ready oh these tomatoes are lovely <laughs> uh, three two one 
It's the shitting of the salad. It's shitted. There we go. Will you shit me, sir? I certainly will. Shit me right up. Thank you. Suitably shitted? Yeah. There you go. For now. And then I'm, I'm banking on you opening one of these brommers and uh, and trying it. Oh. I might just pick one up and try it in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'm filth. So this is pasta parcels with a plant-based filling, chicken-style seasoning, bacon-style flavouring and dairy alternative to cheese. And uh, let's just chop this in half. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh, that's ever so flavour flavourful. Look at that. I don't know if it's any. There you go. Yeah. Mmm. It's kind of sausage like, strangely, texture wise. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But it's lovely flavour. I've just boiled this as recommended, four and a half minutes, drained it, and then drizzled it with olive oil. Not extra virgin. Tasty and substantial. Yeah. Mm hmm. So yeah. there you go. We're having uh, ravioli. Is it ravioli? Tortellini. Tortellini. Big tortellini, salad, and garlic bread. Very late on a Saturday night. <laughs> Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Sunday night, and I said to Jason this morning after breakfast, croissants are back, by the way. We had croissants, strawberries, and blueberries. Delicious. And I said, do you know, Jay, I think I might do burgers for dinner tonight. I have. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that one is your classic Linda McCartney quarter pounder with uh, English mustard underneath, spinach, uh, then the burger with Cathedral City uh, cheese on there. Yeah. F the, yeah, the block cut into slices, fried onion, mayo, ketchup, tomatoes. Uh, you know all the things and that is the green cuisine uh chicken free burger these two basically brought the boxes in to show you nice chicken free burger with um caramelized onion hummus on the bottom and english mustard and rocket and then the burger and then fried onions and ketchup or mayo of course uh the mccain fries the barbecue ones if you've never seen the packets of fries you get three portions in each clearly mark vegan to do a salt and pepper uh a chimichurri i believe and a barbecue we've got the barbecue and this is a homemade slaw it's julienne carrot shredded cabbage Shredded onion. I've chopped the bits of the tomato that didn't go on the burgers uh, up and put them on top. But I, I chopped it all up, added some white rice vinegar, left it in the fridge for about an hour, drained off the liquid, and then added uh, English mustard and mayo. So it's burger and chips, but a bit posher. Yeah, it's fancy, isn't it? I'm right looking forward to it. Always tasty. You. Do you put cracking burgers together, Burbs? That's because I love a burger. The fixings, the fries, the slaw. It's perfect, isn't it? Nice way to end the weekend as well. Indeed it is. Burger, two burgers and fries. Vegan and posh as fook. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not. See you tomorrow for the last day. Bye, loves. Hello my loves, it's Monday night and the last night of this particular meals vlog. Um, do you remember a couple of weeks ago I did Skodalia, which is a Corfu specific dish of mashed potatoes with crushed garlic, lots of lemon juice and olive oil. And I did a chicken paprikash kind of, you know, stove top stew with it. Well this one I've done in the instant pot. Uh, aubergines, peppers, onions, lots of small paprika, some chicken style pieces because I had a box in the fridge that needed using up. Um, but the Scordalia is the same as I made it last time because uh, it's just got. In fact, do you want to taste of the stew? Yeah, I mean, I will do. I smelt it before. I mean, it sm looks and smells absolutely gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah, I, mean, I don't even know where to start. I've just got here. I've got right here. Mm. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. That's great. Crack of black pepper on there. Perfect for me that. Nice one. Is this a hint of spice in there? I've had, I've not imagined this. Small paprika. Is that? Oh no, I've put two finger chillies in. Well spotted brommers. <laughs> hint of spice there. Yeah, just two little finger it's chillies. It's just coming through though, it's very subtle but it's there. Yeah. Gorgeous. So that's the last meal of the week on this particular meals vlog. Um, definitely recommend the Scar Dahlia if you're into mashed potato. It's just a different way to have mashed potatoes. And uh, I, I've not used my Instant Pot for a while, so it was good to just chuck everything in there, put it on for 25 minutes, and then wait until mash were done. And here we are. Bye-bye. Right, loves. We'll see you next week. Bye, loves. <laughs>